Well, I've got a um, 2008 Mazda 5. She's been um, having problems with a stiff gear linkage. Our missus keeps complaining, so I took the opportunity to, um, I wasn't gonna video it, but I take this opportunity to show you, help you guys out if, um, if you have potentially the same problem. All right, you remove the uh, battery tray out of the way and um, exposes the gear linkage cables that which are underneath the battery tray. The battery tray is connected to the module, it's a bit of an, bit of an arse to get out, but you can just um, fold it out of the way and you can, um, got loads of room to get to where you need to get to. Um, problem will be, it's lack of lubricant on your um, pivot point of this linkage here. Um, I've got this, I've, I wasn't going to video this, but um, so I've got the half job half done here. But this is not this bolts down here and fits into this is your shaft here, it sets your gears. That, that pivots on there and that moves that way. You've got these um, ball joints that click on there and they just pop off with a screwdriver. And you unbolt these two 12 mils that hold this part of the linkage off. You can move this rubber boot, and it's done a very good job. It's supposed to stop grease getting out and getting dry. And you can remove this whole linkage here. I've, I've had this off already. And um, what happens is this shaft here, you just set the camera. So the problem you'll have is that. Um, Pivot here gets dry. I've, I've played. I haven't lubed this up yet, but um, I've uh, played with it a bit, so it's moving a bit more freely now. Um, it wasn't really stiff. It was just a bit annoying, you know, compared to my car. It was no, noticeably different. Um, this is this is for a Mazda 5 seven seater. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, E clip off here, take this up, clean it up, lube it up. I'm also going to where this bolts into the other part of the linkage um, we're going to take this off, clean this up, lube this up um, before we put it all back on, put a little bit of grease back on the ball joints of the um, gear selector cables so just going to unpop this clip really dry it's lack of lubricant you see down there it's not, it's not sea solid but we have to move it better than that sorry I'll we'll just take this nylon cap up I'm going to clean these bits up here Okay, so I've cleaned these up, just take away the real dry, real dry grease on them. Just a bit of brake cleaner and a bit of rags, with a screwdriver poking in there. You can see it's got little brass bushes in there. It's not perfect, but I only want this to be like a short, short little job. It's gonna, it's gonna, um, it's gonna be all right. So I'm just gonna use some just standard grease and. Um, Move it up. Quite a satisfying part of it. <laughs> My boy's laughing for some reason.
So I was in shot then. Um, I'm going to screw it back with the um, clip on the end. <sighs> Might need some pliers for this. Pass me. So with that um, clipped on there, I'm just going to rub the excess off because all the excess is only the excess ain't going to do nothing. It's just going to um, accumulate and get more dirt. So just give it a bit of a clean. I'm going to keep this nice and lubed up inside there. That's covered with that boot. So it's a bit split. So a little do. Okay, it's not very easy to record down here, guys. Got my son holding the camera. I'm trying to work around. What we need to do first. Oops. We need to angle this up first and get this socket, nylon socket, and ball, ball joint back in here like this. In fact, I want to put a bit more grease in there. So I'm going to just get some more grease. Put it in there. And I've got two 12mm bolts to hold this in. Let's line it back up. I've got this cap back in here. Got it on a low setting, so it's only going into alley. So that lubed up there, and that bolted back on there. That's moving a lot nicer. I'm gonna get this rubber boot back on. It's a bit perished. It's splitting, so that's it. A bit more grease on these these ball joints here. A bit too much there. Yeah. Leave them up nice. And we're just gonna clip them on. Right guys, that's all done now, so as you can see now. Well, I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to show what it was like before, but it's um, moving a lot smoother now. So yeah, that's, um, that's it done now. I've just got to um, put the battery tray back in and the airbox. You know, it takes five minutes to get this stuff in and out. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this has um, helped someone.